Hello, families and friends. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Veronica, and we are going to be right over here reading from the Bible, different chapters or different passages. Um, let's start with the next episode. We are in the first letter of John, chapter three. You know, in a subtitle with chapter three. But before that, let's um do our prayer, the Lord's prayers. Once again, you guys can find this in Matthew six nine through 13 pray then like this our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen so like I was saying, guys, um, we are still in chapter 3 in the first letter of John, 1 John. And the subtitle, it says, Love One Another. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We should not be like Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? because his own deeds were evil and his brothers righteous and his brothers righteous do not be surprised brothers that the world hates you we know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers whoever does not love abides in death everyone who hates his brother is a murderer and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him by this we know love that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers but if anyone has the worst goods and sees his brother in need yet closes his heart his his heart against him how does god love abides in him little children let us not love in war or talk but in thee and in truth by this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our hearts before him for who for whenever our hearts condemn us god is greater than our heart and he knows everything beloved if our heart does not condemn us we have confidence before god and whatever we ask we receive from him because we keep his commitments and do what pleases him and this is his commitment that we believe in the name of his son jesus christ and love one another just as he has commanded us Whoever keeps his commandments abides in God, and God in him. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit whom, whom he has given us. Amen. I will see you guys in the next episode. God bless.